All right, we are back in the booth tonight and we are gonna paint one of these square bill crawdad lures. And I'm just gonna try a, a different little technique with this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of black in the gun, a little bit of carbon black. And I'm just gonna spray some on it. Kind of get it, get it going. I'm not going to put a lot on it. I'm going to do little sections at a time. And I'm going to take these swabs that are like from Dollar Tree, these little makeup swabs, and I'm just going to move it into the crevices of the bait. And I'll hit the top. You just want to get it in the crevices good so you can see the shell. And I'll just take it and pull it back. I didn't want to do that. Hang on, let me switch over. dry one. I think it works better when they're dry. I thought I was going to try something different, but that wasn't going to work. And I'm just going to try to get it into the crevices and the cracks just to kind of darken it up a little bit. just to kind of make it look a little bit washed. And I'm gonna take a little extra off on some of these tops and shell patterns with what I'm gonna to do to it. I just wanna kind of get it roughed up a little bit. A, a new little um, tool that I think you're going to like. And all I'm trying to do is just kind of just rough up a little bit where we can see the claws and, um, and I may touch it up a little bit on those because I want those to be a little bit more visible. Not a whole lot. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm looking to do. Just to rough it up a little bit. And, um, let's see. I get that one enough. I'm going to get a little bit more off of this one. On the claw. Because like I said, the little technique I'm going to use I want to be able to see the detail that I'm going to do on it. It just kind of washes the gives it a little bit more So 
what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you this little um, little new tool I got. It's called a um, they're called stifling tips. Oh, uh, you can actually put them on the end of your airbrush. Um, it's a splattering tool. Uh, I got these at Midwest Airbrush. I, they're not a sponsor of my videos. I, I paid for these myself. And, uh, and you get three tips uh, with your own um, when you buy them. And they, they're universal, they'll fit any airbrush. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and change my airbrush. I'm gonna put it on my HP. And we'll use, um, we'll go ahead and use this one. I already tried this one. And all you have to do is you just snap it on the front of the airbrush. It's very easy to put on, that's what it looks like. Um, and like I said, they're called stippling tips or stippling, stip, stipple tips. And I got these at Midwest Airbrush Supply. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some fire red uh, Createx Illustrations. It is number 5010. And we'll shake it up. And I'm just going to put some in certain spots. Uh, and we'll try these stippling tips together. I haven't used them yet. So we'll put a few, a few drops of red in here. And what we'll do is I'll get a paper towel here. And we'll, we'll give it a try first before we blow it onto our lure. And... Uh, can see what it does. I think the lower the pressure, the bigger the dots. So if you see, you can actually see them getting bigger now. And that's pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of ways you can do this um, with the stippling. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it dry. I've made a mess in the booth. I think I had it too low to be honest with you. So I'm going to clean that up really fast. I don't want this to make a huge mess. I've already got some blood red already taken up. Let me go ahead and just get another paper towel. gun out. I'm going to put some black in it. Let that dry a little bit. See if I can get this black to do a little bit better. Okay, so we'll put a little bit of black in the gun. And I'll test it out real quick just to make sure we're not going to... Yeah, that looks a little bit better. 
Just something I gotta get used to. Okay. Now that did a lot better. So what we'll do is we'll heat set that and we'll clean the gun out. I mean, that's really what I wanted to do the video for tonight was I was kind of, I just got these stippling tips and I wanted to see how they operated. I mean, you can do them with a, a little stir stick. You can, um, you can put it on low pressure and tap your gun a couple of times and pull back and it'll do it. There's, there's multiple ways of doing it. I just, like I said, I just like to find easier ways to do this. Um, To get different effects. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna heat set this. in the booth um, <laughs> oh lord these booths are too hard to keep clean as it is I gotta get it while it's still somewhat wet I'll um, let that dry just for a second and then I'm gonna use some high golden copper to put on this and uh I'll tell you what, before I put the copper on, I'm going to, I've gotten this rust, it's a, um, it's kind of a brush on, um, they use it in like modeling, I've used it on a few of my crawl baits and it's actually worked out really good, it gives it a really neat look, so I'm going to put a little bit around some of the claws and stuff, and let it dry, you can see it's really a it's really a cool looking, looking wash. I'm gonna put a little bit around those eyes and I'll show you what brand it is. It's actually a very popular modeling brand. And I may put a little bit around these, just little crevice areas, just to give it some, some rusty colors. Still want to use that copper but this stuff will dry in the crevices and it'll give it a really cool look get a little in there so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave this sitting there and this stuff is a rust water soluble paint. It's um uh, high matte, and it's it's like a they use it for like a wash, and it works very well. So let me heat set that really fast. put a little bit more of that on. I'm going to use a little bit of this um, copper. And this is uh, iridescent copper fine from Golden. Just to give it a little bit of pop, just in some certain areas like the bottom. I 
like that copper bottom. I'm gonna put just a little bit of copper here. Not a lot. Just a little bit on that top still. Clean that out. hit some of it with a candy 2-0. I've let it sit for about 15 minutes. It's ready to go. I'm going to add a little bit more reducer to it. still be able to see your stippling through it. It just kind of gives it a weathered look. Um, and I think I'm still gonna come back with the stippling tool and do some black on my, on my top. We're gonna let that dry. So what we'll do is we'll grab that stippling tool back out. I may go with a thinner one. I just want to get a few black dots around. Um, around those claws. So we're gonna put some black back in the gun. I'm not gonna put a lot. messy but I like the result it gives. I think it's going to pay off once I get a little bit more used to it. So I'll set that there and I'm going to take this little sponge and I'm going to dot these eyes because they're you're not really using a, um, I don't need a little more paint. Mm. I'm time tonight knocking stuff down. All right, so we'll take this off. And I'm just going to dip it. I'm not going to need a lot. I've already put too much on it, I think. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch these eyes up. I need to get a little more on it than that. OK. 
Okay, we'll let that dry. And we'll take a look at it. thing off. Turn this air up. I don't like to heat set the candy. I just I just think it turns out better when you don't. So that's what you actually get. I call this the candy copper crawl with the stifling tool. It is a square bill. It does not have the bill in it yet, which I have right here. I'm gonna actually uh, let this dry really well. Then I'll come back over and um, I'll put the bill on, I'll glue it in, then I'll put my epoxy on. Um, so let me go over what we did. Oh, uh, we took the black. This bait was already kind of a white. It wasn't clear. Uh, I sprayed a coat of um, golden uh, high flow black over it and just kind of wiped it down into the crevices so it would just kind of fill up and darken up the crevices. Then what I did was I, um, I came in with um, some Createx Fire Red and just kind of sprayed it to the claw, the shell, the outer shell, the bottom, uh, where the claws were. Then I came in with an iridescent copper from Golden. I did the bottom. I did the t very top of the shell, not the whole thing, just the top and down toward the front. Um, we did use the, the stippling tool, which is stipple tips. And like I said, if you're interested in those, I got them at Midwest Airbrush Supply. And we shot some of the um it's actually got red stipple which is hard to see on camera you'll be able to see it a lot better in person and then we have the black which you can see pretty well um and i put that in there to kind of just give it that rustic type crawl look then we took the rust wash and ran it in some of the crevices to kind of just give it a different type color and darken it up a little bit that's very cool stuff if you don't have that you need to check that out um then we came back over the top with a candy 2 red, blood red, and just kind of just gave it a little bit of a, just to kind of soften up the stippling because it was a lot bigger than I really wanted it to be. But I mean, I think it looks pretty good um, just to kind of get it over that. And uh, and that finished it up. So uh, if you like the, the video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification when I have upcoming videos coming up and like I said, if you have any questions, shoot them down in the box. Go to lurebill.com. Check Jimmy out to get the blanks. He has a lot of other stuff there, too. Uh, paints, eyes, stencils, tools, um, blanks. He's got. He's your one-stop shop, so go check him out. And like I always say, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.